ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to Sports, everybody. After losing eight of their last nine games, Buddy Heald and the Sacramento Kings on the floor last night at home against the Golden State Warriors. Kings got out fast and won each of the first three quarters before holding off a Warriors rally in the fourth. Kings win 111-98. Buddy tied for a game-high 21 points. I know we shot the ball decent, but uh, you know, we had a lot of turnovers again, but uh no games going out is basketball, man. Sometimes you get to take what the game gives you, and uh, like I said earlier, you know, you get a lot of opportunities in the games where you can correct things and fix things. But you no, know, thank God for the great win. You know, much needed win, so you can't take any granted for the, any win for granted in the NBA because you know, win is a win. So we need we need this one, and hopefully, going in, you can use that momentum going into Phoenix. With the Kendall Isaacs gym being used as a shelter, sporting events that were supposed to be held in that facility have either been put on hold or forced to find another venue. And as Kelsey Johnson tells us, it's definitely becoming more of a concern for one federation. The only play executives in the Bahamas Basketball Federation can draw up now will be called Blueprint. Ever since the Kendall Isaacs gymnasium was converted into a shelter for those displaced by Hurricane Dorian, the members found themselves trying to redesign a floor they can play ball on. The impact of Ken and Isaac not being available is, is hurting us uh, at the international and national level. And then you look at the U Campbell. U Campbell will be played uh, the end of February. Uh, I guess they're going to have to host all of their games, including the finals, at the um, AFRD gym, which is then going to take away for their income because a bigger stadium like Kendall Isaac will allow them to have more fans in there. AC, more people want to be in there. Preparation for the upcoming America's Cup has yet to start because the other facilities in the capital are not FIBA certified, which is a disadvantage for our men's national basketball team. Right now, we're looking at Bahama to see if we, as a possibility, we can have that game there. If not, the only options there is either Atlantis or Bimini. We have a uh, visitor from FIBA would be in town to check one or two of the, the facilities that we discussed and uh, they're going to make the final decision. Here's what's at stake if the facilities are not up to standard. We're going to have to play our, play our home game uh, in another country that is yet to be decided. But if that happens again, you're putting us at a disadvantage. The team that we are putting together right now is a team that has a great chance that will need that six-man, um, which would be our home crowd that could help us pull it off. The first game for the Bahamas is scheduled for February against Mexico. Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Total Sports. The BAIS's private school basketball season back on court yesterday for the first time since the holiday break. And senior boys play Sacks Big Red Machine taking the short ride to St. Anne's for a matchup with the Blue Waves. This one all sack early on. St. Anne's made a late push on the back of Jaden Stubbs who scored more than half of his team's points finishing up with 31. In the end though Sack rolling to a 70-50 victory to stay undefeated at 5-0. The loss dropped St. Anne's to 3-2. It comes with a lot of progress and hard work, you know, and we just try to do our best in everything we do. As a team, we executed on defense and moved the ball around on offense as a, as a, as a team. Uh, I feel as if we could do better communication on the court. We did today was we played a great defensive game, uh, especially in the early part of the game. We came with defensively, you know, over the Christmas break is a little lull. We didn't compete in the tournament this Christmas, so I know offensively things might not have clicked, but defensively could always bring the intensity. We wasn't getting back on the defensive end, we wasn't getting back on the bricks, so they beat us on the offensive end, and they was playing good defense. I think we'll, we should be able to rebound from this, this loss positively moving forward. Guys are still a little sluggish after the Christmas break, so, you know, we'll be able to iron out the kinks, hopefully, and try and make sure we make a good push to get into the playoffs. The college tennis season getting ready to resume in short order. Sierra Donaldson in her sophomore season with the Lee Flames. Africa Smith also in her second year with the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. College has been good, but it's only been my preseason, so we haven't played that much matches. We came second in our conference, so that was a really good year. This year, it's going to be a little tough because we didn't start off the year with a coach, so I'm looking forward to the challenge, though. I would like to work on my fitness, as usual. That's what I say every time. Um, I guess put more hours in and work on my mental toughness. I feel like my games went up tremendously um, with the amount of matches that I've been able to play with college and I love the experience that I'm getting. I will most likely be playing this year singles and doubles and hopefully that when we make it into conference tournament we will win.
What do you still think you maybe need to work on? Personally, my serve. Everything starts off with the serve. So definitely that and maybe a little bit more consistency on my backhand. But other than that, I feel like I'm pretty good. After a fun-filled weekend, our minor leaguers now turning their attention to the new season, which is just around the corner. Todd Isaacs joined the Colorado Rockies organization last year after spending time with the Cleveland Indians. It's been great so far. You know, Colorado is a beautiful place. Um, the organization is super good. Um, you know, it's been a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to the future. I know you got some AAA games, and how was that experience? It's cool. It's really cool. It was incredible to see the jump. You know, kind of feel like you're almost in the big leagues. Everything. And AAA prepares you for the big leagues. I had a lot of fun up there, and I can't wait to get back. The team that I played for, they did after the hurricane, they did a charity at the stadium to get back to um, Hurricane Dorian victims. So it was cool to see, you know, it was super heartwarming. And I'm just so grateful to be a part of an organization that would do something like that. My report to spring train at the end of February, beginning of March. So I'll just be preparing my body for, for when it's time to go back to camp. And where do you expect to start this year? Hopefully in double or AAA. And then... Just keep playing well and hopefully get the call up to the big leagues this year. Tanaj Thomas is a part of the Pittsburgh Pirates organization. He got a real wake-up call early last season, but he was able to turn things around. The first two games, uh, it was kind of shaky. Um, just was trying to be too perfect. But um, talked to my coaches and my dad. Um, told me to just relax and just let my game flow. And after that, the season went really well. Um, finished strong. Just I have to stay with the same mindset and intent. I'll go back to Freeport, just finish work out for it, work out on my development. Me, my main development this whole season was just developing um, secondary pitches. So that's my main intent and focus this year. And then um, just going into the spring, trying to get ready, hopefully to play with the team Great Britain to get into the World Baseball qualifiers and then um, go from there. What kind of level are you looking to get to this year? Um, I'm Trying to start in low A this year, hopefully high A. So just develop, depending on spring training, how I do in spring training, just have to have a good spring and hopefully go to high A this year. The 2020 Bull Ranch Regatta, all history now. Organizer Leslie Buzzy roll happy with where they're at, and he hopes for even bigger and better things in the future. We have more boats now, and, and I hear we got more boats coming out of Nassau next year, and that's what we'll be looking for. By this time next year, we want to have the cruisers sailing against the locals here. I want to see more, more onshore. We want to get the B-class in here, now, at least five or six B-class, so we can step it up. And that will do it for sports. A check on weather up next. ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.